Hey guys, what's going on? Daniel here from Guide to Vaping, otherwise known as a Vaping Demon. Today I'm going to take a couple of minutes just to uh, tell you about a new purchase I made at the weekend. It's this guy right here. It's the uh, Noros RDA from Metro Vapes and 252, otherwise known as the Team Legion. I'm excited to show you this. Let's get down to it. The Noros is simplistic in design, but is a marvellous piece of kit to own. I had the chance to grab a hold of one at Vapor Slam 2. Um, I was going to get the 22mm originally, but they told me they'd already sold past the serial number that I wanted, which was 666. So I had to settle with the 28.5mm. Now when I say settle, I am lying, because I actually wanted the 285 but I had to pretend that I wanted to spend less money because my wife was standing next to me. The Noros is available in a 304 stainless steel or a gunmetal finish. I went for the stainless steel personally just because I think it looked cleaner. The RDA itself is seamless. The machining on this thing is epic and I really can't wait to bring you guys down so you can see it and take a look at it for yourselves. Now to me every aspect of this product from the packaging to the uh, pre-made Clapton coils all feels like it's been given thought, care and attention. When you initially open up the box, now you've got the, the magnets on the side there, it's got the Noros on the top, MV and 252 on the side. You open it up, you can see it's got the, the Legion logo on one side, and Noros down the other. You, you, you really can't mistake this for anything else that's on the market right now. Right, you'll see we've got massive airflow controls on either side. This thing, if it's designed to twist, it twists seamlessly. If it's designed to fit together, you really can't see the seams after a while. I'm going to pop this thing open here in a second. We'll take a look inside. But before we do that, let's just take a look at what else you get inside the box. You have a spare Dell wrench off cap. Pop this out of here. You have a downsizing adapter, so you can use a regular size 510 drip tip rather than one of these big chuffs. You have a copper positive post down there in the bottom. And you have a bag of spare parts which comes with screws, new o-rings, the blue screwdriver of death and also a couple of pre-made Clapton coils. They've thought of everything you might need. Now I'm just excited to open this thing up. Alright, so here we have it, the 28mm Noros. Okay, you have stainless steel chuff cap. The top cap with the adjustable fins. Beastly, if you turn it too fast when you got it out, you can actually cut yourself on that. Gonna pop the chimney off here. Right now, everything's still stiff because it's new, and I like it that way. Right, so you have two, two, and then you have the two post deck. As you can see, the milling in there looks good. It has a peak insulator in the bottom. It's a two post design. Massive holes for your wire. I'm actually really excited to build on this right now. Uh, on the other side, you'll see we have the copper center pin. And the serial number 666, the one that I really wanted and the one that I got. Alright, we'll put it back together. You'll see. Oh, almost forgot. That is a 5mm juice wall down there. So even if you're ditzy like myself, you probably aren't going to be able to throw juice all over your mod. They made sure to keep the airflow high. So even if you do overdrip slightly, you're going to be all right. Airflow control and the top cap back in place. We'll take a look at these airflow slots here in a second properly. Put this back on. Right. So, <coughs> I'm actually kind of excited about this airflow. All right, if you turn it one way, it will close off all four slots simultaneously 
so you are almost completely closed to all four slots completely open now if you keep it closed all the way you can actually get a semi decent throat to lung hit from this which I'm excited about and as you can see it's the same on both sides now when you turn the airflow all the way across to the other side you'll notice that the bottom two slots are completely open now and the top two slots are closed same on the other side then you can carry on adjusting that all the way through I'm impressed with this airflow system I'm actually impressed with the tank overall right I want to take a minute or two here just to build on this thing because I know everybody's seen how to build on an RDA before I'm gonna throw a build in here then we're gonna see how it operates how it works now just before I put this back together I want to take a second just to show you the build that I put in here it's currently reading at press the right button there for 0.29 22 gauge canthal thing is those coils actually look tiny in this deck because it is so big I'm gonna put it on a device and we'll fire this thing up alright here we are the Noros sitting on top of the shiny white RX200 gonna fire this thing really fast at 66 watts just because I can angry and crank this up to 90 watts there we go 90 watts I've only got the airflow halfway open on this Let's see how it vibes okay that's with the airflow halfway open I think I'm actually going to have to close it down just slightly because that was still airy this thing is a beast I want to put some more uh, reverb in here from audio fog actually you know what I think I'm gonna go with the ambient as you can see I am really not dripping on this thing I'm just squirting it in there because that 5mm deck can really hold the juice open this bad boy all the way up and I'm going to crank it all the way up as well it's going to take it up to 135 watts That's good. I like this thing. Oh. Now I've got the airflow all the way open. Don't know if you can actually see it inside there. Let me just tweak this slightly. There you go. The coils are actually sitting in between the second and third airflow holes there. So the airflow is actually perfect. You cut it down to the top half of the airflow being off. I think I like this and that ladies and gentlemen is how you fog out the studio in four hits right if you want to get your hands on the Noros RDA uh, I'm gonna drop the link in the description I'm also gonna put it up here on the screen it's uh, metrovaporshop.com um, as I said you can get it in the 22 mil or you can get it in the 28 and a half honestly you might as well spend the extra little bit of money and get the big boy you can see I've got it on the RX200 here. There is a slight overhang on the front, but everywhere else it fits perfectly. It looks nice and it hits like a champ. As always, guys and gals, I am the Vaping Demon, otherwise known as Daniel Hoff and Guides of Vaping. Until the next video, 